So let's have a look at this new 48 volt, 100 amp hour golf cart battery by Ography. We've got the battery, we have a product manual, a product brochure showing all the other batteries that Ography offers, a couple of plastic wire insulators, and then two terminal bolts. And this is a smart battery, so it also has Bluetooth. 48 volts nominal voltage, 100 amp hours of nominal capacity. 5,120 watt hours. Maximum continuous charge will be 50 amps. Continuous discharge current, 100 amps. Maximum four in parallel. Cycle life, 2,000 to 5,000 times. And weighs 88.1 pounds. 20.4 inches by 10.6 inches by 8.6 inches. Information in the manual for the Bluetooth app and how to set that up. There shows your four in parallel connection and make a massive battery bank out of them. This battery came to me at 51% charge and 52.73 on voltage. Now this Ography battery has 16 cells, so it's actually a 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour battery with 5,120 watt hours. Watch that, sometimes you'll see a 48 volt, it'll be a 15 cell battery and a 48 volt that's 16 cell, which is technically a 51.2 volt battery. This one comes with the plastic covers for the terminals, which I really like. And I'm gonna charge it with my new Suraziki smart charger, 58.4 volt, 18 amp charger. I did a short review video on this charger, so if you're in the market for a, what I think is a very nice 48 volt battery charger, Check out that video, I'll link it down in the description below. But uh, so far I've used it three or four times for these large batteries and it does really nice, I'm happy with it. And it comes with a lead that you can install on the battery permanently. And then all you have to do is plug it in and you're ready to charge. And with it being an 18 amp charger, it'll charge these large 48 volt, 100 amp hour batteries in about five and a half hours. So that's a pretty quick charge. So we're at 53.59 volts and we're charging at 16.33 amps and 876 watts. Shows up here, it'll be done in three hours charge time because it's about 50%. Okay, we've got the battery fully charged. We're sitting at 100%, 55.37 volts. This is the app that comes with the battery. Unfortunately, for some reason, this particular app doesn't show the amp hours being drawn out of the battery. So let me show you a different app, this BMS tool app. This is a free app unless you wanna get the add-on to it, but I'm just using the free version. I already have this app downloaded on my phone. It will open up the Argo-Free battery. We were sitting at 100%, 55.37 volts. And then right below that, you can see it shows amp hours of 100 amp hours. It's 99.99 .99 right now because I've had my inverter sitting here with it turned on, drawing just a little bit of power out of it just before I begin this discharge capacity test. And I'll come back, we'll have a look at this app as the battery completes the discharge and then ultimately shuts off due to the settings on the BMS. And I'm gonna run this little shop back. This is gonna be noisy, but it pulls about 15 or 16 amps. All right, there's 100 amp hours. And the app that came with this battery, 0%, 2.716 volts. It's just about to shut down. All right, and it just shut down, so let me turn that inverter off. Protection is on, and it's turned off the battery. See, 2.73, that could be set to 2.5, but in this app, it's set to 2.7. So it does meet the rated 100 amp hour capacity. Now the fun part, let's put this LifePo 4 48 volt, 100 amp hour smart battery through the torture test. <laughs> or at least as much torture test as I can provide. I've got it connected to this 48 volt, 3000 watt inverter. 
Got a 1300 watt induction cooktop connected with a pan of water on it. This large portable air conditioner unit, which consumes about 1400 watts. And then I've got two of my uh, studio lights connected. I've got the two studio lights and the air conditioner unit plugged into the power strip. And then the induction cooktop is connected to the top. Let's go ahead and we'll start turning things on here and we'll try to uh, max out this inverter. We'll try to get over 300 watts coming out of this battery. I've got the two shop lights currently running off the inverter. Let's turn the air conditioner unit on, see if we can get that going. Put it on the lowest temp that we can. Fans on, I think it just kicked in. Put that on high. Yeah, it's running. Okay. You can see we're pulling 18 amps or so right now, 900, just under a thousand watts with the AC unit and the two studio lights. Now let's kick on this uh, induction cooktop. We'll put it up on max here, which is the highest setting on 1300 watts. Start that up. That should put us up close to 60 amps. See if we can't get this up to 3000 watts. We're getting close. We're within about 350 watts. I'll plug in a couple more things here and we'll come back. All right, that's about the best I can do. I've got my power strip maxed out. I've got two studio lights, small fan here, a floor fan over there, the AC unit, and the induction cooktop. It's running all these items. And you look on the app there, we're at 60.43 amps, 3,100 and almost 20 watts. I'm gonna set a timer here. Start the stopwatch, we'll let that run for about five minutes and we'll just see how it does. So far, so good. Running a lot of things, so that's what's awesome about these 100 amp hour 48 volt batteries. They make great off-grid power units. You can run an awful lot of things off of one of these batteries. All right, we've just passed the five minute mark, ticking away with no, no issues whatsoever. So let's put the app back up on the screen. 3,243 watt hours. That little inverter, I'm impressed. I'll link it in the description, along with everything else you see here, in case you have any interest in going and checking that out. And of course, I'll link the battery in the description for those of you who are interested in that. Really nice battery, I'm impressed with its performance. Personally, I'm really a fan of these 48 volt golf cart slash off-grid batteries. So again, all the links will be in the description. If you want to see another one of my videos, click the video on the screen now and we'll see you over there.